to be doing a short version of the last three stories we've done in Kids Zone. So, the first story we did was God always keeps his promises. So Moses died, and then God gave Joshua to his people, and Joshua led them to the promised land. And But Jericho stood in their way. So God told them to march around and around Jericho, and the people thought, oh, this isn't going to work. And they, but they followed him, and he kept his promise, and it worked. The walls of Jericho came falling down. So, God always keeps his promises. The thing I enjoyed about that story was the fact that when they followed him, he kept his promise. Now, our second story is God wants your heart. And what we learned was, there was a prophet named Samuel, and God said everything through Samuel. But the people didn't want that. They wanted a king that they could see. So they chose Saul. But Saul was a bad, bad king. And he didn't do the right thing. So God, no, the people chose Samuel to choose another king. And Samuel went to Jesse's house and looked at all of his sons and said, no, and he chose the w smallest, weakest son to be the king, because, and that being David. And he chose him because it was his heart was good. So the thing we can learn from this story is your heart is all that matters to God. And last, but definitely not least, God will fight for you. Now the Israelites went to war, and their enemy had a giant called Goliath. And everyone was scared of him, except for David. So they gave David the best armor and the best weapons, but it didn't fit the small boy. So he took five smooth stones and, with, and, a, and a sling, and with a swing of the sling, the sling the stone hit Goliath's head and killed him. Now, if you fight the right battles God, and you ask God, he will help you win the battles. The Good Shepherd David the Shepherd King from Psalm 51 to Samuel 7 and a paraphrase of Psalm 23. David was a shepherd, but when God looked at him, he saw a king. Sure enough, when David grew up, that's just what he became. And David was a great king. He had a heart like God's heart, full of love. Now that didn't mean he was perfect, because he did some terrible things. He even murdered a man. No, David made a big mess of his life. But God can take even the biggest mess and make it work in his plan. I need a new heart, Lord, David prayed because mine is full of sin. Make me clean inside. God heard David's prayer. He forgave David, and he made David a promise. I will make you great, David, and one day a king will be born into your family, and he will heal the whole world. Did you know that David was a songwriter too? In fact, his songs were so good, they might have been in the top 40 charts if they'd been invented then. David's songs are like prayers. They are called Psalms, and this one is called the Song of the Shepherd. It's probably number one on the Psalm charts, and it goes like this. God is my shepherd, and I am his little lamb. He feeds me, he guides me, he looks after me. I have everything I need. Inside, my heart is very quiet, as quiet as lying still in soft green grass, in a meadow, by a little stream. Even when I walk through the scary, dark, lonely places, I won't be afraid, because my shepherd knows where I am. He is here with me. He keeps me safe. He rescues me. He makes me strong 
and brave. He is getting wonderful things ready for me, especially for me. Everything I ever dreamed of. He fills my heart so full of happiness, I can't hold it all inside. Wherever I go, I know God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love will go too. God gave David that song to sing to his people so they could know that he loved them and would always look after them like a shepherd loves his sheep. And one day, God was going to do something that would inspire thousands upon thousands of new songs. God was going to show his people once and for all just how much he loved them. Another shepherd was coming, a greater shepherd. He would be called the Good Shepherd. And this shepherd was going to lead all of God's little lambs back to the place where they had always belonged, close to God's heart. Right. Hello, boys and girls. So, thank you, first of all, to Christopher for that brilliant um, summary of the last three stories that we have done here at KidZone. And um, how did you guys find that story? I love the story. I love the fact that God spoke to David through a song. And um, David used to write these songs so that people could know how much God loved them. But we can also sing songs to God to tell God how much we love him. And it's a way in which we can pray. It's a way in which we can praise and worship and we can bring our love to God. So if you're not really good at praying or you think that you're not a good prayer, you can also praise and worship and sing to God with all your heart. And this is how I want us to end today's lesson. Uh, we're going to ask Auntie Jo to um, sing us a song which actually is inspired by the song that we read in our story today by David to remind people how much God loves us. So without any further ado, this is our song and I'll see you next week. Bye. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me lie in pastures green. He leads me by the still, still waters. His goodness restores my soul. He guides my ways in righteousness And He anoints my head with oil And my cup it overflows with joy I feast on His pure delight and though I walk the darkest path, I will not fear the evil one. For you are with me and your rod and staff are the comfort I need to know. And I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me home. And I will trust in you alone. And I will trust in you alone. For your endless mercy follows me. Your goodness will lead me 